Hello guys and welcome to another Fusion 360 tutorial video for your home Mac and Wiki CNC machine. Okay, um, this video um, is for those who want to add uh, your Wiki 2 library to the Fusion 360 2 library. Okay, um, as you can see, I'm using my cell phone to record this video and that's because um, I still don't have my PC back from my friend who called me uh, last week um, and he, he said that the video card just uh, just went bad so I'm gonna have to get that replaced. So hopefully I can get my computer, my desktop back um, before Christmas. So I don't have to use this, um, this old uh, laptop from 2006, which is really slow. Uh, I tried to use uh, Filmora software to do a screen recording, but it, this computer was not um, was not handling that well, so it was just crashing my computer all the time. Um, I think that's because I only have six gigs or uh, six gigs of RAM, and Fusion 360 uses about uh, seventy percent of that RAM, so uh, this computer needs more RAM for that. Anyway, um, let's get back to the video. So. Um, there are two ways uh, that I know how to add um, your Wiki or Home Mac 2 library to the Fusion 362 library, okay? And the first one is, um, let me show you, as you can see, I'm in the manufacturer workspace. So um, let's go to uh, to library, okay? And under cloud, you're gonna right click and you're gonna import libraries. This is one way. And you can look for that folder in your um, home app wiki um, computer. Okay, um, let me cancel that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the name of that folder and the file, okay? And and the folder name is, um, is A forward slash DB, that's the folder. We're gonna have all um, your, um, your, your tool data, okay? In your wiki or home Mac CNC machine, all right. And the file name is uh, wz underscore db85 dot txt. Okay, so that's one way. Um, I didn't use this uh, to have my um, two library in Fusion 360. That's because I don't have um, the machine that I that I program at work doesn't have a two changer, so I didn't do it this way. Okay, if this if this doesn't work for you, uh, you're gonna have to add every single ML manually in Fusion 360. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, so let's go back to Fusion 360. And as you can see, I have um, different folders here for different MLs. Uh, these are all the wiki um, tools, um, see right here. Also have, um, I have the MANA tool, Fusion Master tool library that I've got from their website. Okay, um, you, go, you gotta go to the website, just download the file and just import it into Fusion 360 by going to the cloud, right click and select import libraries. Um, I also have a CMS, uh, this is an old CMS, um, CNC uh, machine that we have at work. Uh, it's got a tool changer and um, a flat table. So um, everything here is set to inches. Also have a customer emails, a saw blade. Um, this is the one the, the machine has, the wiki machine at work. It's um, 100 millimeters in diameter. Also have the wiki, chamfer engraving, and I have a drilling, broad point, V point. Okay. Uh, let's go to um, let's go to the emails. I also have metal, I have plastic, I have wood fly emails, I have a core box, ball nose, I have face emails, I have a taper, okay. I built this um, over time, okay? I did this manually, all right? Um, <clears throat> let's go to this uh, Wiki CNC plastic. All right, so I, I know the video is a little shaky, okay? I'm using my left hand to um, keep the, keep myself on steady. So as you can see here where it says one, that's the two number. So this is where you have to, um, let me show you how to do that. Let's select this six millimeter, um, and we also right click at a tool. You're gonna go to post process. This is where you're gonna type the right uh, tool number that you have 
in your whole Mac and Wiki CNC machine, right? Mine happens to be one. All of them have all of them are gonna be one in my case because I don't have a tool changer, like I said before, okay? So in my case it's gonna be one. All right, uh, in your case it's gonna be 128, 129, and so on, all right? And on the cutting, um, excuse me, cutting data, this is where you're gonna set up, this is where you're gonna set up the, um, your fees and speeds, all right? See where it says passes, passes and linking, I have this check, I have, um, I have my own step down and step over for every single email that I have in my Fusion 360 tool library for my wiki machine, okay? I'm gonna make a separate video how to do this uh, using expressions, okay? Um, let's go to um, uh, holder. This is the one that I'm using. You can use whatever you want. Uh, shaft, I don't have anything here. Uh, under cutter, this is where you're gonna have um, your tool di um, diameter, length, okay? Um, uh, uh, the shaft, um, okay? Everything here is uh, set to millimeters, okay? Um, Clockwise spindle rotations is checked. So this this end mill is right hand, like my most of my hand, uh, most of my end mills that I have. Okay, um, on the journal, this is where I have um, the tool description. I also have the vendor, I have the product ID, I have the product link. All right. Um, so let's, let's click on cancel. And let's say, uh, I'm gonna show you how to, to add an end mill, all right? If you wanna do it this way, so, so I'm gonna select, um, I'm gonna click on uh, this plus uh, sign right here where it says new tool, and it's gonna be a flat end mill. And I'm gonna skip this uh, general tab, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to cutter, and it's gonna be, let's say a two fluid end mill Type two is gonna be a right hand end mill, so that's check. Uh, it's in millimeters, uh, material, uh, it doesn't really matter. My hands, you can, I'm gonna select carbide for now. And the diameter is gonna be, let's say, uh, three millimeters, okay? And the shaft's gonna be six. So I'm gonna type six, uh, six. Number six key on my keyboard's not working, so I select this, um, this keyboard that I have here, so I'm gonna type six, okay. And let's say the overall length is gonna be, uh, let's say 60 millimeters. So I'm gonna select this keyboard, type 60. Oops, sorry about that. I got this old computer, okay. Uh, can't wait to get my PC back. All right, so, um, and where it says length below, um, Holder is gonna be 50, shoulder length is gonna be, let's say, um, say uh, 40 millimeters, I'm gonna type four, zero. And the tool length is gonna be, um, let's say 25 millimeters. You know what, let's, let's, let's leave it at 20. Okay, um, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna skip shaft, I'm gonna go to holder. And you can select the holder right here, so um, I'm gonna select a metric holder. Got this arrow, and I'll select this holder right here. Let me go back, let me go all the way down. Let me select this, select this holder. There you go, okay. And next step is gonna be cutting data. And this is where you're gonna set your spindle speed, feed rate, so uh, let's make this 10,000 RPM, okay. Okay, 10,000, sorry about that guys. It's hard for me to see my keyboard. Uh, ramp, uh, you can, it's gonna be the same as, as the tool spindle speed, so it's be 10,000 RPM. The feed rate, let's say you want this to be, um, let's make this uh, seven, seven, meter, uh, seven meters per minute, so it's gonna be 7,000 millimeters, okay. And you got the leading feed rate, the lead out feed rate, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be the same if you, it's the same as the um, cutting fuel rate, okay? You see there's a... Um, <clears throat> see there's a formula here, okay? So you can, it's the same as the um, cutting fuel rate, okay? You can change this if you want, so I'm gonna type, say I want the leading uh, the leading fuel rate to be uh, one meter per minute, so I'm gonna type 1,000, okay? 
and it's gonna be 1,000 here as well. Okay. Plunge feed ray, uh, I'm gonna type uh, 500 millimeters. You know what, makes, let's make this uh, 400. Since the number five uh, keyboard doesn't work on my um, computer, so I'm gonna type 400 millimeters. And that's it, okay. Next uh, is the post processor. Uh, let's say this one happens to be to number 128. So I'm gonna type 128, okay. And I have two diameter offsets, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna type zero, two length offset, zero, okay. And uh, live tool, this is for, um, this is for late. So I'm gonna uncheck that. You could put a comment here if you want, okay. So I'm gonna click on, uh, click on accept. And there's my new email, so it happens to be 128. Okay. I say you wanna wanna use the same. Um, do you wanna add another end mill that's, that has the same diameter, the same length, but it happens to be a left uh, hand end mill? So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna select uh, duplicate tool. I'm gonna select that tool, right click, edit tool, and under cutter, I'm gonna uncheck uh, clockwise spindle rotation. And the tool number is gonna be under post process. I'm gonna type 129, okay. And I'm gonna hit accept, and that's it. That's that, that's how you do it. Um, this is how I did it, okay. Again, um, if um, method one doesn't work, uh, you can use this. I know it takes longer, all right. But uh, the first one I didn't use. Like I said before. Um, the machine doesn't have a tool changer, so I did it this way, all right? This is how I did it. Okay, guys, um, let's, um, let's select, um, let me see if I can, let me look for this program. Let me render stuff. Let me select this base plate um, model that I have here. I already programmed this. Let's see, it takes a while to open up. The computer's really slow, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. There it is. So let's say I want to use those end mills, okay, um, to machine these um, these notches here. Okay, this is just an example, all right? So I know um, um, that's not the right right end mill for this. Um, you gotta use a you gotta use something bigger. That's a bigger diameter, okay? Um, let's select setup, right click, and actually let's. Let's go on a 2D contour. You know what, actually I'm gonna cancel this and I'm just gonna select this uh, 2D contour operation. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to edit and I'm gonna select uh, that one of those tools that, that I just created for you guys. And let's go to the Wiki CNC Plastic. And I'm gonna select uh, 128, okay. And mill, so I'm gonna select that. Click OK. Okay, it's taking a while. And there you go. See, I have so many step downs. That's fine. So, and I'm gonna post process this program, and we're gonna open it up in Whoop Up. All right. So I'm gonna right click, post process, play cutout. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna post this. Yeah, I'm gonna overwrite it. I want to open up Wood Wap. Okay. And under File, Open. I'm going to look for that program that I just posted. See, it's taking a while to, to load the folders. On the random folder, there's a Play Cutout program right there. You see it? So I'm going to open it up in Wood Wap 5.0. That's what I have. And select C. You see the two. Um, the two um, trimming um, macros or routing macros. See, there's a tool number 128. You see the speed, there's 1,000 RPM, uh, seven meters per minute. Okay, that's how you do it, All right, guys? So um, that's it for this video, guys. I know it's a little shaky, the video. 
Uh, my left hand is a little tired right now. Uh, so I switched to my right hand um, to hold the cell phone. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Have a nice day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.